Hi guys, it's me again. Um, I'm just making this little quick addendum to the video that I'm about to upload and I've got to put it at the start. Uh, a couple of things I forgot to mention. Um, I want to say a huge thank, uh, thank you to the guys that commented um, while I was away and gave me a lot of support like Christian Brewbear, uh, Dave from Cheshire Homebrew, Tube Dinos, uh, Gas Slug, uh, Don Peter, all the rest. Um, too many to mention. And I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Gash Slug in particular because when I came back I needed a lot of help. I was very, very rusty indeed and so he helped to get me through my first two brews and helped me avoid any major cock-ups. So huge thanks to them. And um, Take care and hope you enjoy the rest of the video. It's long before. Hey ho guys, it's me again. Uh, long time no see. Um, hope you've all been keeping well. Uh, this is my second or third attempt at making this video. Um, I had one previously uploaded since yesterday, but I've decided to take it down now because it was like 21 minutes long or something and it was just me waffling on so I'll try and keep this a lot shorter as I said hope you've all been keeping well yeah I've been away from the whole beer tube and brewing thing for quite a while um, I did the tribute brew to Paul Wicksteed I did that last December and I brewed a peculiar one I didn't get to do it on the international brew day because timing wasn't right but not counting that I haven't actually brewed since last September. Um, it's just been a combination of occurrences. Uh, I wasn't able to brew for a couple of months coming from September and then I kind of got into a rut and I just couldn't be bothered and you know how that goes. So quite recently, about a month and a half, maybe two months ago, um, after almost seven years living in this house, it is seven years in this house, my landlord asked me to move out. That was quite out of the blue and a bit of a shock. Um, I was a bit peed off at it, uh, to say the least. Still am, but you know, I've got a handle on it now. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, I have a few months more to find a new place. Um, Keep you updated on how that goes um, but it kind of inspired me or kick-started me into thinking do you know what if I'm going to have to leave this house that I've been in for seven years if I'm going to have to leave this in a month or two months or whenever on short notice or whatever um, I may as well do a brew or two or a few brews to kind of say goodbye to the old place uh, I know it sounds daft, but I think I was trying to cheer myself up as well because I had got that landed on me. And it was coming into the summer, the weather was getting better, and you all know like how that kind of inspires us homebrewers and lifts our spirits when the weather is good. So anyway, I'm going to post a couple of links down in the comment section below to um, cellardweller.net or .org, I can't remember which one now. And I did do a couple of brews there last week. And I'm going to post a link to those recipes in the comment section below. Um, the first one I decided to come back with was an ESB. Um, that went pretty good. Um, I had ordered a few bits and pieces off the home brew company here in ERA. Um, I'm trying to use up some whole grain malts that I have probably going on over two years old now. I had promised myself that I would use it by last December. Um, as I said, life got in the way, that didn't happen. So I'm kind of really pushing it now at this stage. It's getting on for about two and a half years old at this stage. Um, so I said, when I decided I was going to do a few more brews before I left the house, I said I'm going to... Um, you try and use all that up. So as I said, the first one was an ESB. 
Uh, the recipe will be in the comment section below. I have all the annotations made what went on in brew day. The second one I did was a Bach Mountains Bach Mountains Connoisseur Bach beer kit that I also got off the homebrew company at the same time a few weeks back that I ordered my bits and pieces and it was on a sale, I think it was like 1060. So I decided to do up a mini mash because basically what I've been doing over the last nine months that I've disappeared was I had nearly all my five kegs filled and I had a few bottles and I just hadn't been brewing but I was working away in that um, supping away in that and that's all depleted now so I need to replenish stocks so the plan was to do the ESB, bottle that up put it away for conditioning this mountain's Bach beer kit was just a keg filler basically um, so I did a mini mash with that and I'll put the recipe in the section below and the annotations I yeah I kind of cocked that one up um, thankfully thanks to Cash Slug from Cellar Dweller um, down on that uh, I was able to re rescue it and I think it's going to be okay now but have a look at the two recipes anyway see what you think as I said the plan is to bottle up DSB probably later this week uh, put that away for conditioning um, the Bach beer whatever cock up beer is going to be going into a keg most of it and a few bottles because I'll have a few litres left over so that's about it guys uh, I'm only coming up in five and a half minutes so far so that's a lot better than the 21 minutes that I had loaded previously um, apologies to the guys that make comments like Cidermeister and my friend Bob down there in Arkansas um, because when I delete the old one your comments will disappear as well so I have been keeping up with your videos guys I while I was gone away I apologize if I haven't been as commenting as much as what I normally would uh, as I said kind of lost my mojo for the whole brewing thing when I was watching the video um, another reason I wasn't commenting so much is 99% of the time I only have my mobile phone to work from I no longer have a laptop at the moment I'm recording this on the Steinus over desktop and sometimes that can be just a nightmare um, so normally I don't bother only maybe on the weekends from watching a cast or something uh, hope you're all keeping well um, I don't think I've really anything else to add Oh yeah, the other major thing that I'm doing is, I decided when I was coming back, I said, right, if I'm going to come back and get into this brew malarkey, I'm going to start from ground zero again. So basically, all my old settings, I have two setups. I have a keg setup, and I have a pico boiler setup. I scrapped all the parameters and settings for those in Beersmith, and I said, right, I'm going to start from ground zero, calibrate them from the ground up, dead space, max capacity, boil off rate, the whole lot for both setups. Then I decided, right, I'll do two or three batches first on the Pico and get that dialed in. Then I'll do two or the next two or three batches on the keg setup and get that dialed in. And at least then I know where I am down the road, if I stick with this. I'm still not sure about that yet. So I did the ESB on the Pico and I did the Mountains Back Beer Kit on the Pico and Ah, I need to get another couple of full, fully all grain batches done on that pico boiler before I can say. Um, the one question I would have for any out there that might have a bit more experience with this, any that work with Beersmith is, I said when I came back that I was going to start paying attention to things like mash efficiency and brew house efficiency. Now I'm not going to get myself tied up in knots over this, but I do if at all possible I want to try and dial the two of those in because basically before I just went bing bang bang bosh brew the beer and you know and that's okay 90% of the time for most of us home brewers but I want to see if I can get some sort of repeatability which is something that was always lacking in my brews and the reason for that is if I do a brew then and something is off with it it's going to be easier for me to trace back where the issue was. Um, that's the theory anyway. Um, 
So as I said, check out the recipes below, guys. Hope you're all keeping well. Sorry for blathering on. I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes. Uh, as I said, I have been watching your videos. Sorry if I haven't been commenting as much. And um, yeah, I'll catch you again. And I'll update you on the two most recent comeback brews uh, sometime in the next week or two. Okay, guys. Cheers. Slango for all.